The Lagos Advocacy Group has written to President Bola Tinubu urging him to restrict any federal appointment coming to Lagos to only the indigents of the state, citing Section 147, Subsection 3 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. The group reminded the president that all ministers to be appointed by him must be a representation of indigent of the 36 states of the Federation, not excluding Lagos State. The group says the state has suffered a lot of marginalization from successive uh, governments. Well, a bit of a tongue twister there. Well, joining <laughs> us to take a look at the matter is lawyer and convener, Lagos Advocacy Group of Indigenous Lagosians. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsnight. It's my pleasure. Well, it's not, I mean, a, a new thing. This is a call that's been there for quite a while to restrict uh, appointments of Lagosians to Lagos indigents. But a lot of people are asking, is this not further widening the fault lines of Nigeria, where at a time when we're talking about you know, unifying the country, giving everybody a sense of belonging wherever they come from and wherever they are, what's responsible for this call? Well, the, uh, our call for inclusion of Lagos indigent is not a call that is out of the blues. It is constitutional. Section 14, subsection 3 and 4 gives room for a uh, composition of government that uh, m must include all, um, <coughs> all sections of the country. That is, there must, not, there must not be domination of one particular group ahead of the other. It is, it is there in the law. And it is that same law that was also used in section 147 sub 3 that at least there must be minister from every state of the federation and must be indigenous of that state. Refer returning the president back from to section 14 sub section 3 that in composing government, informing government and its agencies, government must ensure that what that it must be, it, it must reflect federal character, it must promote um, unity, and it must also command loyalty to the nation. So, so that is what we are saying that as indigenous of Lagos State, we are not just we are not just advocating for what is not in our laws. It is it, it, it is there established section 14, subsection 3, subsection 4, and section 13, and equally section 153 of the Constitution equally create a federal character commission, right? Such that power should be should be distributed some part of the country must not be must not dominate over the other the, the in, in lagos state what, what, what we ought to have is, is a different thing we, we do the understand governor, that, but let me just come in very quickly before i allow to come in here who really is an indigenous of lagos how Good. do you even define an Good. indigenous of lagos the federal character commission at section four defines an indigen that what an indi must be someone from a local government in that state and, and it's not for that defines that someone from that local government must be someone whose father is from that state or whose mother is from that state. And that is, it also went further to say that provided that no individual should lay claim to, indi to, to indigenship of two states, that no individual should claim to local government, no individual should claim to states. If you are from, if you are from Lagos, if you are from a particular local government, definitely you, you should remain in that local government. And, mm. and, and in Lagos states, we are, the, 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 the case is extremely different. Let me, let me set an example. Right. Yeah. Senator Solomon Olamile Koyayi mm -hmm. is presently a senator in, uh, in Ogo State. Ogo state. And, and he, was, <laughs> he was then representing, he's still even representing Lagos West. He, he, under under Alimosho local government, belonging to a ward in Alimosho local government, and moved from, that, from, from, from Lagos West while still claiming that you are from. Why is he claiming that you are representing the people of Lagos West? You move simultaneously to Ogun West. When, when section 65 sub 3 of the constitution says that you must belong to, to that party in that, in, in that uh, senatorial district before you can, you, you can switch to another, to, to, to another place. Although we have challenged mm. him in court, we are still in federal court with him, and we are okay. expecting that we, we will get judgment against him and we, we are going to make him to refund all the money that all, all the money that he has made while he's while he's in is in lagos west and move to Ogun west the federal character commission act has stated it clearly that Ms. Pro provided that no individual shall lay claim to two states simultaneously no individual shall lay claim to two local governments simultaneously so to, in lagos state that is 
that is it it it, it is even extremely different. Mr. Yakubu Leto, uh, joining you and uh, the rest of us uh, from our offsite studio mm -hmm. is a barrister Frank Tieti, Arise Analyst. Thank you, uh, Frank, for joining us. Right. Uh, the, the, now, this issue of um, ah, having a minister <laughs> <laughs> from Lagos State at the federal level, who is actually an indigenous of Lagos, is a little dicey. And it's not peculiar to Lagos, because I know of, for instance, Ogun State, certain people who are from AKT Ocean, other states, or who uh, actually got appointments in Ogun State. So it, it also happens at the state level, not only at the national level. But for context, uh, help us make sense of how this can better uh, help us uh, with national integration. All right. It appears we are yet to come to terms with the price we pay for being a federation and for allowing such rights like freedom of movement, allowing anybody anywhere from any part of the country to settle in any part of the country, and then bringing to fore the issues that were raised in one a time-tested case that was settled by the Supreme Court, Olu and Olu, where a, a Nigerian citizen can actually, by choice, uh, you know, become an indigenous of any place. Uh, of, uh, in that particular case, it was that of an Egyptian man who lived all his life in Benin, adopted Benin culture and uh, married Benin, ways, uh, Benin wives and lived his life according to the Benin ways and then applied to the Oba to be, an in to be recognized as an indigenous of Benin. Uh, that is, uh, uh, and then eventually he was. So uh, the definition of who, are, who is an indigenous is very, very difficult because the constitution does not create rights and uh, obligations together with responsibilities for who for an indigent the way it does for a citizen. Uh, in, so in that case, it's difficult when the Constitution is itself now says that the President must appoint um, uh, one person, I mean, from, must make an appointment of a minister from each of the states of the Federation, who, and that person must be an indigent. Uh, the, the, uh, you, would, um, you would sympathize with the, the advocacy that calls for indigents to be recognized, but who else, who is, that becomes the indigent of the Federal Capital Territory? Lagos was once a Federal Capital Territory. That the, much of the, uh, you know, know, the development it has had is as a result of, of the fact that the Federal Government was once uh, resident there. The seat of government was once resident there. The same thing is applicable to the Federal Capital Territory today, which is Abuja. Um, the issue of defining uh, is, is, uh, indigenship is very difficult because people can actually claim to be uh, <coughs> by choice to be indigenous. Uh, yes, it's sympathetic when you see the Solomon or Lame Lekon or, or uh, the James Falekes who would uh, represent Lagos in one breath and then go to, over to Kogi State and, and claim to want to be governor. But leave that aside, that, that can be uh, another conundrum. But what is important is that the fact that a, pe a person has, by choice, made uh, any state its state of origin and his, uh, he claims indigenous of any particular part of Nigeria is sufficient. One comes to mind now is another particular individual, uh, Sylvester Moniedafe, whose, uh, who, whose parentage is, is Urubu. But went to, but actually went they went his parents went to Jimeta in Adamawa State and today he claims to be from that place and has contested elections several times uh, even aspired to be the chairman the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress so the the price of being a federation is huge for persons who claim to be aborigin aborigines but for Lagos State it's also more difficult because before it even became a federal capital territory the status which I am not aware of that it has been taken, even though we've, it has shifted to Abuja. The, the fact that what happened to those slaves that were once uh, dropped in, uh, uh, that were shipped from Sierra Leone and uh, other places uh, that really make up the, uh, uh, the people that can claim to be aborigines who cannot uh, really say that they came from one place or they are natives or the other. So uh, it's difficult, but anybody, I would say in conclusion, that can make it, that has made a choice, and that can claim culturization to the point of claiming indigenous 
can actually uh, aspire to to become a representative of a legal state. Now, let me quickly uh, Frank, close by if saying... If I may comment very, very quickly, I mean, uh, not enough time. Uh, let me come back to you very quickly. I'd like both of you to actually respond to this. Uh, it, it's like a case of eating your cake and having it. Do you want to be a Lagosian and a Nigerian? And it mm. does raise a question of what... Uh, Chief Obafemi Awolowo uh, said that Nigeria is only a mere geographical expression and not necessarily a nation. How should this president address this matter, whether in the case of Lagos or in bringing that sense of oneness for every Nigerian? Yes, uh, like, I, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. Section 153 of the Constitution created the Federal Character Commission and even National Assembly equally accepted for the Federal Character Commission Act. And under it, the issue of indigenous has been said today. It, it has three legs. The first one, you must be from a local government. The second one is that either of your parents must be from there. And the third one is that you must register to claim to belong to that local government. And provided that you must not lay claim to two local governments, to two states at the yeah, same time. Yeah, that point has been made. Nobody, very, nobody yes. is saying, nobody should not come from any part of the country. Mm -hmm. if, if you want to be in Lagos, remain in Lagos. It's mm -hmm. going to be a slap on the indigenous of that state. You are using slots that are, that, 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 that are supposed to be apportioned to them by law, using it, and after using it, you now move, after that time, return to your home state. It, it, it's just like... Um, it is, uh, it, it is repugnant. Okay. And that is the point we are making here. Right. Yeah, we are not saying people, people should not come in. If you are going to stay in Lagos, remain in Lagos. Frank Tete, you heard that. What do you have to say about that as we close? Uh, that's a good point that he has made there. But you see, you asked for a solution and what the president should be doing. It's a matter of interest. And like I, the, uh, like I struggled to establish that it is a matter of choice. It can be a matter of choice, particularly for Lagos State that has had a history of uh, a, coal, a, co a coalescence of many uh, a group of persons. It's a matter of choice. Nevertheless, it is about who truly represents the interest of the people that uh, I mean that uh, that uh, it's that we can describe as Lagos State today. So it doesn't matter whether the person is Igbo or Yoruba or uh, Hausa, so long as he has lived enough to the point where he can win an election, meaning that he, do, he has assimilated the ways of the people, he has, uh, he has been sufficiently acculturized, he now claims indigenous to the point that the people trust him enough that he can represent their interests. I agree with my learned friend on the other side that it amounts to uh, you know, cheating, that you would take what, you know, what should belong to Lagos State people today and then tomorrow go back to Ogun State or go to Kogi State, that's not fair. And also that's not legal. However, anybody from any part of this country can actually claim the indigenship, indigenship of any part of this country so long as a citizen, if he meets the qualification, and then goes ahead to represent such person on a political basis, either in the National Assembly or to claim a ministerial slot. Okay. I, I doubt if we've found answers to this question. But thank you very much, both of you, Yakubu Ileto and Frank Tiete, for joining us on Newsnight tonight. <laughs>